This DIY Conroe style grill is a simple and inexpensive way to add the high heat you need to sear steaks, cook burgers, chicken, kebabs, and so much more. It's easy to build, easy to disassemble, and with the right charcoal, will burn for a very long time on relatively little fuel. Big thanks to Field Company for making this video possible. More on them later in the video. Let's dive in on the assembly. In essence, the grill is easy to make, larger or smaller, depending on your needs. For this build, I'm using a total of 22 of these fire bricks. This will create a cooking area roughly the size of 17 inches by nine inches. The overall size of the grill, not including the stand I built, is 22 and a half by nine and three quarter inches. Each brick measures nine by four and a half by two and a half inches. The design is fairly straightforward. Your base, seen here, is two bricks stacked on top of each other with five or more so across. So, each one, two, three, four, five. And then line the sides with an additional brick and lay one on top on its side on each end. So this would be one end right here. And then however many more you wanna go across is up to you. For my build, I decided to use some of this fireplace mortar to hold it together and welded a basic frame out of some angle iron to elevate it off the ground. A few tips for this build. For one, assemble everything where you intend to place the grill. This thing is impossible to move safely by yourself and dropping this on your foot will be pretty painful. Hmm. Nope, that ain't gonna work. Two, invest in a cover. The mortar I used in this does not like to get wet and will lose its strength if exposed to water. Don't forget to allow the mortar to cure for a day or two in the sun before using. Three, the frame I built is custom and I know not everyone watching this will have access to welding equipment or the skills to do so. So if you reach out to a local metal shop, uh, this will likely be a fairly inexpensive job and well, it'll look a lot better than mine in the end as well. Four. If you don't build a frame, but you are using mortar to hold it together, a few clamps or even a ratchet strap will help to further secure it while it cures. Now that you have it assembled and the mortar is cured, let's get on to some of the cooking tips. So I opted for a porcelain coated cast iron extendable grill grate. This ended up being the perfect size for this build and will look a lot better than any nickel plated rack over time. Links to this grate I used are in the description. If you're using standard charcoal, using a chimney, like this is the easiest way to get it lit. However, using lump charcoal like the Fogo I have here yields a slower burn with more flavor infused into whatever you're grilling. Now, when I'm using lump charcoal, it can be a little tricky to light. And I start by lighting regular charcoal in my chimney and then adding smaller pieces of the lump charcoal on top. I let the chimney get nice and hot and then spread the charcoal mix into the grill. As time goes on, you can add more of the lump charcoal uh, as that fire builds up. If I'm planning on cooking steak or anything that requires a hot pan, I'll usually throw my cast iron in the oven while I'm doing this to get it preheated. And speaking of cast iron, be sure to go check out Field Company, who helped make this video possible. Field Company is a manufacturer based right here in the US of A that designs and produces cast irons with builds similar to the well-known Griswolds and Wagners still floating around today. Right out of the box, the finish is smooth and completely opposite of the sandpaper fill on other skillets. 
The walls are thicker and it feels on the lighter side despite its size. I've only been using it for a month or so now and I'm far from a cast iron expert, but the quality of this skillet is unlike any of the others I've purchased in the past. I highly recommend you go check them out in the link in the description. Anyways, back to the video. So, searing a steak, easy. Chicken kebabs, no problem. Burgers are a given, and I plan on buying a melting dome to see if I can help further infuse some of the smoky flavor from the charcoal into the food. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like it and consider subscribing to my channel for future videos. Links in the description for everything you'll need to build the project. And don't forget to go and check out Field Company for some of the best cast iron you're going to find on the market today. I'm hopefully working with them to make some more comparison videos, so be sure to stay tuned for those. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you later.